Hey everyone, before this podcast begins, just want to let you know that Freddy's Movember campaign is still going, so if you look in the description, there's a link to uh, the Movember charity. Please feel free to donate anything, and it's Freddy's, uh, I guess, account specifically that I've linked there, but um, yeah, it's for men's health, men's mental health, men's physical health, you can, you know, check it out on the page, but uh, please consider donating anything you can, we're trying to raise money. For a good cause, Movember, check it out, link down below. Alright, on to the pod. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 110th episode of the Poorly Planned Podcast. My name is Benedict, you may know me better as BHL Hudson. Here we talk about movies, TV shows, a bunch of nonsense. With me as always is my friend, co-host, and late night buddy, Frederick. Okay. God, see, you, for, you're 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 lulling me to sleep with well, this like see, see for this, this, this deep and, and and slow voice, very <laughs> debonair. You know, we could we could have gone two ways with this one because we are in fact recording at almost 11 p.m. A little late for potting, if you ask me, but also l- maybe a l- little maybe late, but also kind kind of hookah, perhaps. Well, yeah. So we could have gone either like hype party vibe, as in like let's mm. blow the roof off this place, or we could go kind of it's a it's a chill late night. You sit back with maybe a little. A little whiskey in your hand. You just sit Ooh, back and I, let me get let me get my mokais. Just <laughs> <laughs> the least classy drink. <laughs> mokai. Not the fucking mokai. Those are the, those are extreme. <laughs> and also, that's part of the reason why I'm talking like this. And also, I'm worried that my flatmates might be trying to sleep at some point. So mm. I don't want. So it, we'll we'll hit we'll hit a little like. Not quite ASMR, no, but, but a little just, bit of just, just like a chill vibe pod. A little, a little, I mean, cozy. I say that it'll probably get out of control very quickly as soon as I forget. <clears throat> no, but I, yeah, because I, I have gathered that my walls aren't that thick, and um, so the podcast can probably <laughs> after all the night screaming I do, uh, <laughs> I've been keeping my <laughs> keep my my flatmates off quite a bit. So, <laughs> so they can probably hear. All, they probably get exclusive access to the pod <laughs> earlier than anyone, but um. Oh, goodness. Speaking of, by the way, people finding out about the pod, I was, in fact, uh, on a little night out excursion with my film class. Cooler words mm. have never been said, I know. And um, <laughs> I, I don't know how this came up, but one of them must have had the inside scoop because they asked, mm. do you have a podcast? And normally... <gasps> do you have a podcast, mate? As a normal, uh, you know, a normal man, of course I would go. No, no. you got the wrong guy. Um, <laughs> no, but, that that that's not me. You're looking for. You're looking for someone else. <laughs> but you know, it was it was that time in the night uh, where you don't really give the smartest of answers. So of course I went. Right. Oh yeah, I do. It's on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. And um, and then I uh, I kind of I didn't really remember that that happened. Not due to like extreme alcohol consumption. I want to be clear, just because it was it was a busy night. Mm. But then this morning oh, I saw some of them, and one of them uh, was like. You didn't tell me you were a celebrity, and I was like, ah. <laughs> ah. So, so <laughs> if, I, I wanted to spare you from that truth, but um, <laughs> I guess you haven't seen a BHL's movie hour just yet. Um, <laughs> guess you did. You watch Green Eyes? I, sh- ah, I shouldn't have asked. Uh, that, 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 I shouldn't have asked. That, that that'll make your just your head just come clean off with excitement. <laughs> but so anyway, I just thought that was you know I mean yeah nothing bad in it, but just a little bit a, a wholesome tale, but also the worst response ever to someone saying do you have a podcast going. Yes, it's on Spotify. Uh, yes, absolutely. Check it out right yes, now. Yes, I pay for it to be on multiple <laughs> podcasting networks. Yes, I have a podcast that I lose money on. <laughs> I literally lose money on this I, yearly. I, I, I have a podcast that bankrupts me every week. <laughs> I got the, the bill the other uh, couple of weeks ago. It comes in yearly. And I was like, ah, well. <laughs> Damn, what a kick of the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Put up that like 10 people probably listen to on spotify i should actually check the analytics maybe it's like thousands and we just don't know but anyway well yeah yeah we should definitely oh i've got i've got a little bit of a oh. little bit of a pod story as well a little uni pod story ah. not not quite as big uh arguably way more embarrassing <laughs> i was sitting there and um i was i was i was riding shotgun in in, in the car as i do mm. and then and then we, we were sitting there with the frisbee team going to a tournament and then uh, I get, yo, Freddy, put on the tunes. I was like, oh, hell yeah. Mm. And then I plug in the aux. And then, like, as soon as you plug in the aux, it just plays what you've been listening to immediately. <laughs> and then I just plug it in. And, the, and I kid you not, the car is on, like, close to full volume. And you just hear, now it's time for <laughs> the t- 
Tom Canoes. And, and the just entire the car. And I'm like, blares. And, and I'm just like, I, you heard like the first two bars, like, doo doo. And I, I took the ox out. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Man, it's, um, <laughs> the whole, they just stop the car. <laughs> they throw me out on the highway. <laughs> you can walk. God. Um, so that was, and, and the thing is, no one questioned it. They were just like, oh, okay. I didn't explain it, and we just we just drove. Did on they in know it was you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> that's, that's probably because it's, it's, it's 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 like with uh, newer people, so they don't actually know that. It's, oh, nice! That Another good introduction. Right, I, yeah, I, so. I love that. That's this is a recurring theme that the pod just absolutely it just, it just intrudes and absolutely your social ruins life. our social lives, yeah. <laughs> but um, also makes them. I'd argue. Oh, Oh, hundred percent. I mean, I've had a lot of a concerning amount of banter about the podcast with like some of the people I've met here. So <laughs> I, I have as well. If anything, it's the well. ultimate icebreaker, but also the ultimate. <laughs> you walk up to the, the most the most random people. <laughs> Oh, your name's Scott? Well, I've got a podcast. <laughs> it's on Spotify. <laughs> it's on Spotify, by the way. Just play and, it out there. And, and Apple Podcasts. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Well, the coolest. Uni continues to be great for both of us, clearly. Um, <laughs> so today, we're going to have a classic mini reviews and news episode. And this one no. is recorded two days before it goes up. So if I can edit that fast, what? which hopefully I can. So this is going up this Ye- Friday. So what the hell? A cheeky is it, is it is it a is it a topical one perhaps? <sighs> well, no, actually, we're gonna be talking about <laughs> news from last year. <laughs> well, not at all. <laughs> no, yeah. So I also just realized the next episode contains new some news as well. So that news will be older than the news we talk about in the previous week's mm. episode. Not you know some of the times the time travel doesn't really work great, but yeah, we're gonna be talking about a couple movies we've seen. Mainly, I think honestly, the only one really Eternals. We're gonna talk about that briefly. Oh, I've 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 got quite a th- few things to talk about. Uh oh, well, well, we will have to speed run those. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> um, for once, when you actually have something to say, um, I'm not gonna <laughs> allow you to. <laughs> we can't. We, well, I mean, I'm gonna need you to speed that up, Sonny. <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry, I realized that's kind of, kind of rude. I mean, you think maybe we could do a big one on turtles and kind of speed round the other? <laughs> um. So. Um, <laughs> Can, can you, like, shut up about anything that you ever watch for this podcast? Thank you. <laughs> or may, maybe, I mean, if you want to save them, we could also do it for another video. It's just we have a lot of juicy news, is my point. All right. All right. Sorry. So I, I can't even tell you about the things yeah. I've watched. No. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just do it as we go. But, um, and then we all have, right. okay. a, a, no in some news, we have some Morbius news. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Such a lame. <laughs> such, such a panicky try to get out of this. We have Morbius news. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Okay, we've got more pieces. <laughs> um, we have multiple pieces of Dwayne Johnson news. I, th- I thought you were going to say, we have Morbius news again. <laughs> In case I didn't so emphasize it enough. Loop. <laughs> um, we have then um, some John Wickethan news. We have, of course, the Disney Plus Day where there were tons of MCU Ooh. announcements. And then we also have a little thing you might have seen called the Spider-Man trailer. Called... Morbius, <laughs> and then a little tidbit you might have heard of called Morbius the Infinite Vampire, whatever the f- he's called. <laughs> That's the official movie title. <laughs> oh, whatever the f- this this person's called. Also, Morbius the Infinite Vampire, not the coolest <laughs> of names. Um. Anyway, let's just jump into this first of all with t- hundreds of mini reviews. Yeah. Okay. I've got a lot. <laughs> Uh, well, first of all, I mean, I have I literally have one other one. I mean, I've seen a bunch of other stuff, but the things I put... Okay, when I, when I say I've got a lot of other ones, I've got, like, three ones to talk about. Okay, but, well, because I've, I've seen a couple of things, but I put them in BHL's movie hour, because I feel like, like, what are we going to have to say about the right. French Dispatch, you know what I mean? What You uh, don't even know what that is. I've, I've got quite a lot of stuff to say. What are you going to say about honestly. Double Indemnity, a movie from 1944 that I had to watch for my film class, you know what I mean? So, the only thing that I feel like... <laughs> yeah, you fucking <laughs> idiot... <laughs> <laughs> you God, uncultured he's, film swans. He's, he's, ab- <laughs> he's absolutely ruined me, guys. <laughs> Shut up about your mini reviews. The only other thing. Oh, uh, he's I actually have... Morbius. <laughs> the I've watched the first season of You, um, Stalker ah. Boy Man, and it is there's a, there's a season about my life. <laughs> you're a, you're a stalker boy man. No, no, I, I realized I realized I said yeah, that. That was a, that was an unfortunate. He's a stalker, yes. serial killer, or a horrible human being. <laughs> I didn't know someone made a show about a Fidel guard, you know. <laughs> didn't know there was a Fidel guard biopic out there. 
No, you were doing uh, you were doing an epic one. pun title, but that you know. No, I, I, but, I, I but get it, you. it's 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 failed, and now yeah, I look no. like a bit of a creep. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, well, it, it happens. You make it too easy. Um, but it's <laughs> it is a compelling show. Like I I wanted to keep watching it. It is like it's also an easy show to make fun of if you watch it with a friend. Like you can kind of there are a lot of sort of really cheesy points of dialogue and really over-the-top characters and really dumb plot okay. points like i mean just the general this is probably something that people have like picked apart but like his stalking of like just being within 10 feet of people wearing a cap it's like how the f does he not get seen every single time i get he seen all that? the time when i try to do that <laughs> yeah, that tactic doesn't they make work it unreal <laughs> They make it unrealistically easy for him. <laughs> but um, but it is, like... I mean, it's a dark show, but it's so goofy that it's kind of fun. Like, unintentionally goofy. Mm. But then also, it, it yeah, has yeah. a bit of... It's an engaging show. I don't know. I'm enjoying it, even though it's kind of dumb. I, I've... I've seen I've seen some edits where they take out the like narration, like the thinking yeah. narration. Well, and then it's and just, he's him. just standing there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, also, yeah, it's kind of. It does also hit like some kind of. I don't. I think they're intentionally funny, but just like because you know he's sort of this, uh, like in his head, his voiceover, he's like you know kind of, uh, super smart and like smooth mm. and he's like oh i know everything about you and then it's just like hard like dummy cuts. in real life well then it like hard cuts to him like jerking off into a bush staring at a girl or something and it's like <laughs> what <laughs> I don't know, what is this like kind of hilarious peel detective well, yeah, and then like and then yeah he's I like need to she's great and she's she's beautiful and yeah. i'm beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yeah. pretty much exactly and then there's also like there's a great moment where you know he's been stalking this girl this whole time and then he's finally like in bed with her and he's like Whoa. and then he just, he just <laughs> yo <laughs> and then he this is my dude <laughs> and then he he finishes in like eight seconds and it's just like, extremely embarrassing <laughs> it's very good so i don't know yeah it's it's a goofy show but i'm quite enjoying it i have to say <laughs> nice 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 all right all right hit I've me with one. your first of 500 first of six thousand movies <laughs> <laughs> That isn't even a movie, but a show that I've been watching. Ugh, disgusting. Ah, uh, this is this is not going to help me in the nerd department. If it's an anime f***ing thing... Have you, have you heard of Arcane? No. Okay, well... <laughs> no, freaking idiot. <laughs> uh, it is the Netflix, I believe, Netflix collaboration with uh, animators and League of Legends staff that they've created a League of Legends animated series. And it's brilliant, and it's so good. I don't. I've never played League of Legends, so um, <laughs> you're, so, so, so you um. so you want to talk about this uh, deep rooted issue you have? Um, <laughs> Wait, you've never played League like, of Legends. I've never played League of Legends. Then why? But do you... okay, but because it, it's just it's just a good show. Like it it's it's like outside of the characters that are League of Legends characters, it's generally just like a pretty compelling show as well. It's like it's it's all in. It's not like proper anime. I'd say because like it is like a. Like, the style is different, and it's, like, properly, um, is with an, like, English original cast. Imagine mm. Dragons does a theme song. And it's honestly, it's, 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 <laughs> that's the only way to prove that it's not an anime. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm imagine Dragons. With, honestly, a bit of a banger of a song. And I don't doubt it. I, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Not much to say, but it's just, it's pretty good. Fair enough. So, you're, so um, even as a non-big LOL player, it's still, so <laughs> you'd recommend that's that's what I wrote in the comments on my review. <laughs> Not being a lol player or nothing, but um, <laughs> this this kind of slaps. Fair um, enough. Hawk new new Hawk Eye Girl, what's her name? Um, oh. Haley Steinfeld. Yeah, she voices. So as, as Hawkeye. <laughs> she voices as Hawkeye in it. Just walks in. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, pretty, I like, pretty I like, good. I like the good. Steinfeld. So, I, and I'm, I, I'm an avid lol player myself, as you know. <laughs> I, I I could I could tell from a mile away. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I'll yeah, a good you, one. I was really upset initially when you said it, but you you kind of talked me talked me out of cutting you off from I'm, this pod. I I'm kind of actually gonna watch it right now. <laughs> yeah, pod over. Hold on for like five hours or whatever. Um, well I have. <laughs> I feel like that's like your exit line at any party. <laughs> hold on for like five hours or whatever. Hey, uh, no one move for the next like seventeen hours. I'll be right back. <laughs> Um, well, I'm going for shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, have, um, I have a, a deeply, like, I can't explain how... Sensual. 
No, the exact opposite. I can't explain how tragic oh. this is. And you you know, I mean, you, I think you know where this is going. And I don't have much to say about the movie. I'll talk about that on BHL's Movie Hour. Thank you very much. But um, All right. I had one of the worst cinema experiences of my life seeing oh. the movie Spencer, a.k.a. the Princess Diana biopic. Mm. Now, the movie's, the movie's pretty good, pretty fine. Oh, how was the company? <laughs> 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 So I had I had an unfortunate thing where you know I've I've started I've, I've been as as we talked about with um what was the first one was it James Bond where in a, in a new environment you know making <laughs> making my way downtown walking fast sorry I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, wonder why no one wanted to watch Spencer with you <laughs> so you know I've, I've I've started seeing some movies alone just from like. <laughs> Without it sounding so sad. In a new environment where I love uh, being very socially active, I decided to go solo <laughs> in my cinema trips. I go watch Spencer, <laughs> the Princess Diana the biopic, thing is, the thing is, all by my lonesome. <laughs> With the seeing movies on my own thing, there's no good way to say it. Because if I just say it flat out, I know you're going to start laughing and it looks in- extremely tragic. But the more I try to justify it, the more it looks like I'm really insecure <laughs> about it. So I just I feel like there's no way. <laughs> I just lose, lose. This. Yeah. So anyway, I just want to say, it's, I think it's, it's not because I don't have was... any friends, please. That's all I, I think can it's say. Also, it's this movie that you went to watch. Well, that's the thing. That's, well, that's... If you're going to go watch Spencer, at least bring some company. <laughs> I mean, it's the last movie anyone wants to go see. <laughs> but I was like, I don't know. I was like, hey, I want to go to the movies. And there was nothing, like, playing. Like, I'm not going to go see Ghostbusters. Let's be honest. F*** you, Ghostbusters. Sorry, Lil I Marsh. would rather go see Ghostbusters. That's what I was Spencer thinking once I got in there. But And they, they don't have Last Night in Soho. So, by the way, sorry, saying f*** you, Ghostbusters. I'm sure it's lovely. But I don't think it will be. I think it'll be tragic. But, <laughs> but then, so I was like, okay, I guess Spencer, like the trailer looked, you know, it's probably going to be a good movie to see for like award season and all that stuff. I'll go see it. So first of all, right off the bat, you know, situation not great seeing the Princess Diana movie, which I, I don't care about like the royal family stuff that much. So, you know, mm. alone, it's not a great start. Then I get no. there and it was like, it felt like, I don't know, a scene from like New Girl or something of like how shitty the experience was where there was like there were like six other people in the cinema and they were all mm. extremely irritating in one way <laughs> one way or another <laughs> like the people in front of me were on their phone the entire time there was someone next to me who had i don't think you could possibly have louder like and this is gonna be the the you know bhl grandpa rant you know here we go classic right, b- here, classic here, bhl here i, I own up to it the the old angry grandpa <laughs> who goes and watches biopics alone <laughs> But who had the fucking crinkliest snack bags? Like the, I don't. It was like, just let me have. You can make fun of me afterwards. Just let me have this moment because I need to get this off my chest. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying it. I legit said nothing. You just started to be like, Yo, can, you, can you just for a minute let me speak? Because like, it was like Mary Poppins fucking bag where it just keep pulling stuff out. I was like, how do you still have snacks? How were you eating for two hours straight, nonstop, crinkling your stupid? What can you eat that's so crinkly? How many wrappers did you have in there? Anyway, so yeah, no, um, not a great, not a great time. Fine movie. Well, how was that? Uh, okay, I was gonna say, how was the actual movie? It was okay. It was kind of, I think, again, sort of just my fault for seeing it, because like, I think if you're interested in that stuff, it's much more of an interesting film. But because I wasn't like, like it, on its own, yeah, it's it's like very well made and has great performances, but it's not very. I didn't find it particularly like interesting. Um, uh-huh. So. Like Yassine is all into that royal family stuff, so I'm mm. sure he'd love it. But honestly, I yeah, I've never really cared much for the royal family. No. Oh uh, God, we're already 20 minutes in. Fuck. Okay. Oh, geez. sorry. Go, okay. okay, go I've, go for it. Um. So, <laughs> I went and watched with another person. Well, okay, you don't. Last have to, night in Soho. Don't, don't have to rub it in. Ah, oh, you don't have to rub both of it in. That you saw my most anticipated <laughs> movie, which hasn't come out here, and you had company, mm. <laughs> and you had another person there, <laughs> and you talked to humans. <laughs> a great time as well. I won't lie. It's it was a good, uh, good movie. Very good movie. It was. It's. Uh, Damn it. It's a. It, it's a. It's a mind. F- I'll tell you. I, mm. I. I will spoil. I'll say little to nothing because I don't want to spoil anything for I, you. I appreciate that. But um, very very good movie. I, I, I liked it a lot. Also, quite quite scary, I'll say. Yeah, there was a few moments like where a, I was like, bit of a "Yo!" <laughs> but no, so like music's very good. Um, 
There's some very, very good performances. Good twists in it as well. Jeez. And... <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, good performances. And... Yeah, honestly, just a, a very good time. I won't lie. I I, I, I had a great day. Um, I'm uh... With people and, and a great movie that enthralled me. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you. Thanks. I bet, I bet that... I'm happy for me. <laughs> <laughs> to be you. I love my life. <laughs> God, it feels good to be Freddy. I love being the main character of this podcast. <laughs> I love being the main character of my own life. We're going to watch <laughs> Last Night in Soho with people. Or <laughs> well, I'm, 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 Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> I transitioned out of that. Like, so yeah, I went to see some movies with some people because I'm really cool. So do you want to talk about the Morbius trailer? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now that I've established that I'm way cooler and more social and epic than you. <laughs> Morbius? <laughs> anyway, moving on um, <laughs> to Morbius. <laughs> talk about the eternals um all oh, right so oh but i want to talk about morbius oh, we'll get to morbius fun fact i actually only seen the morbius trailer in fun fact i am morbius sorry <laughs> in the cinema before eternals so yeah so you witnessed my live reaction to that the is, morbius trailer. that is quite fun fact <laughs> another icebreaker arguably, i bring up at a party arguably, by the way <laughs> did you know <laughs> that I have only seen the Morbius trailer <laughs> before I watched the Eternals in the cinema alone. We met fun facts about the job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, Did you also watch Eternals alone? My, <laughs> Wait, no. Sorry. <laughs> okay, for context, I literally saw it with Freddy. I'm sorry. I was just sitting. I've gotten into this whole thing where, where I don't notice your presence when you're around. When you flew across the whole. Where it's funny that you're a loser. (laughs) I assume you only see movies by yourself, including the one where you flew over from another country, and we had the 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 grandest of times. At least I thought. (laughs) As I thought, turns out I didn't even know you were there. I didn't even fucking notice me. Absolutely. Yeah, this is the this is the BHL sadness episode. This is a rough one. You know, I've been on top of the world for, for I'd say are are you seventeen years and now it's just it's gone downhill. The first years. the first year was also really bad. <laughs> yeah, the first what year, year and this last what one. year you're not good. <laughs> My eleventh year on this planet was a tough one. I was actually yeah, two I saw no Morbius trailer then. <laughs> <laughs> Eternals. We saw Eternals together in what I thought was a really fun reuniting of the Woody tradition. But um, <laughs> yeah, anyway. you said as well. I flew across the entire <laughs> world. <laughs> anyway, um, so what did you think of the Eternals? You absolute dickhead. <laughs> also, what you say to people at parties. <laughs> I just, like, waltz up next to a girl. So, what do you think of the eternal is, you absolute f***head? You absolute f***ing c***. Oh, sorry. That <laughs> That's a bit much. I'm gonna censor that. Yeah, sorry. Apologies. Oh, wait. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said when I was watching Spencer. Just the crisp. I'm rolling. I just leaned back. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay. Okay. What did you actually think I've... of the Eternals? <laughs> no joke this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Harm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're never gonna get to the Twain news. <laughs> <laughs> the genuine sadness and horror. We're never gonna get to the Twain news. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. <laughs> Spoilers for the Eternals. Genuinely, <laughs> stop. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I just see like half a face covered by the mic. <laughs> okay, Eternals. Uh, um, I love <laughs> Kumail. Eternals. <laughs> <laughs> he was great, wasn't he? Kumail was great, but also he felt so out of place. I mean, weirdly, is it? I know this is probably really mean, but it a movie feels lower budget if Kumail did it. <laughs> the most harsh insults you could ever give to an actor. 
God. I know. There's just something about <laughs> I Unfortunately, I kind of see what you mean. Though. Right? It just does not fit. He's just, just not, not built universe. for the big screen. <laughs> He's such a small screen character. <laughs> I don't know. I can just I I I only see Kamel, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here talking to my therapist. <laughs> it's like so. So whenever my dad walks in the room, I only see Kamel. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! Oh oh okay. Holy sh- so, all right. Okay. Eternals overall, I qu- quite enjoyed. I I thought it was I, good. I won't lie. I think it was it's definitely one of the worst Marvel movies I've ever seen. Like, like of the MCU or like in general? No, no, MCU. MCU. Like okay. on it's it's just not much happens in it. Like I guess a lot of stuff happens in it, but it just feels very like drawn out and not that focused to me. And again, it mm-hmm. does just yeah, it feels like some like B B list Avengers they've they've brought on. And, Fair uh, enough. Yeah. And the Nanjiani's there as well, and it just does not fit. I honestly thought the Nanjiani was the best part. I'm just putting it out there. Him no, and okay. um, Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh, they were pretty good. I loved Gilgamesh. <gasps> oh, uh, I see. <laughs> I'm a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did, it did have its moments. I mean, uh, I don't know. I liked it enough. I think it was. That's the thing. I don't think, you know, there's a big controversy about, like, it got these really low scores and all this stuff. I, I think it's as good as, like, a mid-tier Marvel movie, you know? I mean, it's the I, go-to, I, but an Ant-Man, you know? Like, <laughs> it's, I don't know, it just, if, if it was a bit shorter, I'd agree, but there's a lot of just, it feels like a very long movie. I get, I get also, it could maybe feel like, it doesn't really commit either direction so it's stuck in this kind of middle ground where like it wants to be this big epic that asks like existential questions and their characters like what is our purpose in the universe and also wants to be you know like the fast-paced fun marvel movie with you know nanjiani's cameraman you know doing doing goofs and stuff and so it's kind of stuck in this (laughs) middle ground where like you want it to be either like shorter and like more tight or like longer to explore it like those themes and those characters mm. kind of in yeah. a more like fleshed out way so you care more i mean that's the the biggest problem for me with this film which again i liked was at the end there was like a shot of like all the heroes or whatever or like most of them and i just i distinctly thought to myself i don't care about any of these people like <laughs> i've sat here for two and a half hours and i don't give a shit about yeah, any of these legit, characters. the person i cared about the most was gilgamesh and he got killed off immediately yeah um, not immediately but spoilers for the eternals uh, I'll put that. Yes, yeah, so, sorry. I'll put that. It's all good. I got you back. Um, Th- thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, no, it's like. I don't know, like. Everything was good. Like, the action effects, you know, you expect them to be good, and they're good. All the acting was great. Um, although Richard Madden, he was sort of. I don't know. I think, I think it was intentional, but there were some moments where his performance was, like, really wooden. And, like, mm. I think that was meant to be that way. But then other times, he wasn't like that at all. So I was like. Because at first I thought, like, maybe his character was going to be, like, a guy who doesn't know how to, like, emote at all. But then he kind mm. of does. So, But then he know. kind of emotes. <laughs> then he kind of becomes a decent actor. And then he goes right back to being a bad actor who just flies <laughs> into the sun. Yeah, that was kind of unintentionally funny. I don't know. It's, like, literally yeah, flies like, into the f***ing sun. <laughs> oh, God. What a mad like, move. Icarus or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I remember us sitting there. What a mad move. <laughs> uh, I also like the guy who builds stuff. I can't remember his name. I can't remember anyone's name of this besides... I literally didn't remember Madden was called Icarus until you just said it. Um, mm. And everyone else is just so forgettable. I mean, there was... I get, Yeah, there was stuff you could have done that was interesting with Mind Control Man. But, like, again, wasn't really but developed you, that much. Also, he got no, just absolutely really. laid out with a fucking brick to the back of the head at the end, which was a great moment. Do you remember mm-hmm. that? That was quite funny. That was quite funny. <laughs> no, no, no. He he did that to the to the little girl. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I remember. I remember someone got absolutely just bricked to the back of the head, and I don't know. Mm-hmm. There's something. There's something about the that, timing on that that was just kind of funny. That reminded that, me of th- all of our characters we could beat up episodes. That's how we would get them all. Just <laughs> fucking brick right just to walk the back up of the door. Besides them, and just brick. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like all the things I'm saying are negative. I did enjoy it. Like it made me chuckle. <laughs> gave gave me some giggles. Um, mm. Like it was entertaining enough. But I also just, I don't think I would ever watch it again. 
and it was terrible. So I don't know what to think. Really. <laughs> it gave me a chuckle. I'd never want to step a foot within <laughs> ten meters of anyone watching it. I mean, but it did make me laugh occasionally. But also, I'd rather watch Spencer a thousand times again before ever watching it. So, so uh, what does that say? So eight but out. But you 10. really want to watch Spencer yeah. alone? So <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. Um, <laughs> favorite pastime. I mean, honestly, um, nothing can be more embarrassing than the time we went and saw Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, like on opening night with a theater full of like middle-aged women, and then we just had to walk in there and just plop ourselves down. So now I feel no I shame walking in any cinema, even if it's Spencer and I'm alone. Really? No, there was a bit. Listen to what you just said. There was a bit. Listen of, to what you there just was said. a bit of shame. There, I, I did. I did kind of keep my. <laughs> even if it's it. Spencer and I'm, I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was it was it was fine, but not the most memorable Marvel movie. I don't know. I feel like no. the more I talk to you, the less I liked it. But I feel like I liked it <laughs> a lot when I not a lot, but I, I liked it quite a bit when we came out of it. But now that I'm talking mm. about it, like that's the thing. I have literally not thought about this movie at all since mm. we walked out of the cinema. Yeah. You know, and it's, now I'm talking. About I don't it again. think I, I'll say it's not the worst Marvel movie, but it's one of them. No, it's 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 well made. It has some great visuals and there are great shots. And that's the thing. I really like some of the concept in it, in it, like some of the ideas. I think it's really interesting to explore, like you know, these mm. beings who've been around forever and they were helping humanity along, and like what the moral quandaries are with that. Like a lot of interesting stuff to explore, and they kind of do, but it's a bit surface level, which I guess is fine. Uh-huh. For, you know, it's also meant to be a fun action movie. Anyway, I thought it was okay. That's my that's my what review. what what what's the BHL rating? <clears throat> I don't know. Probably like a. 7.8. Again, keep in mind my rating system works like the school system, mm. so 78% on the test. Not great, but you know, it's 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 solid. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I think I'd probably, I'd probably give it like a 6. 6 Nanjianis out of fair 10 Gilgameshes. Well, I have one thing that will elevate it to 1,000 Gilgameshes out of a billion, no, out of one Jon Snow man. Because in mm. the post credit scene... post credit scene, well, there, there were two... What, what, was the, what was the one without Jon Snow? Um, that was Harry Styles. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that was whatever. weird. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But the, he's gonna be in it a lot, though. Apparently. Yeah. Like, he's great. gonna be like a main Marvel character. Sure. I don't know. I don't know anything about Harry Styles. Maybe he's a good actor, man. <laughs> sure. I, I I don't really care about Marvel. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> he was in um, Dunkirk, so he was okay in that. Okay. Um, then we'll give him a pass. <laughs> but um, the what was I gonna say? You know the voice in that post credit scene? I can mm, reveal to you who I, it was. I already know who ah, it was. damn it. I thought I was going to blow your mind here. It's, in fact, the Mahersh. The Mahersh. The Mike Stand murdered boy. But not oh as his character, the Mike Stand murdered boy. But as he's a new Blade. Boy. Blade. So, so how does that stuff. work? How, how, is he, how is he there? I don't know why he's there. I don't know what he's, why he's with Jon Snow and or in Jon Snow's head. Like, where was that voice coming from? Anyway, that was the Mahersh, that was the Eternals. Let's move on to some news. Let's do it. Okay, first of all, the Morbius trailer. <gasps> Morbius. Did you see it? Trick question, I was next to you when you did. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks ba- it looks bad. It looks like a really bad movie, and I think it's going to be god-awful. That's my takeaway. I am honestly kind of excited to watch it. It looks like such generic... It, it looks like... Venom, but without any of the possible charm or fun that Venom can have. It looks like a... F- it just has I, terrible Sony movie written all over it. And I'm, I guarantee you the ending and probably the post credit scene is in the trailer, like that stuff with Michael Keaton. Like, it just... It looks so bad. I won't lie. I've just got a weird man crush for Jared Leto, and, I, and I'm down for it. All right. Well, that's as yeah, good a reason as any. Um, I guess I was really anticlimactic Morbius news. <laughs> yeah, but we gotta burn through. It looks it. bad. I'm I'm ready for it. <laughs> then Anna de Armas is in talks to star in John Wick spinoff Ballerina. So, I like I like Anna de Armas a lot. She's a very good actress. Yeah, she was great in Knives Out. She was great in No Time to Die, and she was great in she's probably great other in things. She's been in Knock Knock. Is she in that? Oh yeah, isn't she Eli Roth's wife? She's the wife of the Bear Jew. And the Bear Jew directed Knock Knock. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna blow your mind. She, oh God, that must have been real. Did the Bear Jew direct Knock Knock? Yeah, and he's married to Anna Darmus. So he, he Anna Darmus does a lot of he directed all of risque that. things in Knock Knock. Well, that must have been a know, weird it, conversation for him to have with with <laughs> with Keanu. Right, Keanu, let me let me tell you what I want you to do <laughs> to Anna I mean, in the shower and in the bedroom. I mean, maybe it's you know, maybe it's a bit of a the bear Jew fetish. Who knows? 
Like maybe his dream has always been to have, okay, this is probably going too far, but maybe his, you know, hypothetically, maybe his dream has always been to have Keanu Reeves bang his wife, and he's specifically worked his way up in Hollywood just to get the opportunity to make the movie Knock Knock where that can happen. (laughs) You know what? (laughs) Stranger things have happened. (laughs) I'm not saying that's a fact. I'm, it's just a game theory. But I'm not saying it's not a fact. <laughs> um, Leaving it open to interpretation. <laughs> then, do we go with the big Marvel news and then the Dwayne news last? Or do we go Dwayne news first? Because mm. I feel like Dwayne news is more pod, like, nutty. But right. also... Yeah, you know... That's, 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 that's your call. That's your all right. Call. Let's go Marvel stuff first. First all things right. first, Disney Plus Day. Big announcements for Disney Plus Day. Uh, I'm just going to go through the Marvel stuff. Like, there was some... There's a new The Predator movie called Prey coming out. You know, that's something. There's... Um, wow, that's that's a clever title. Yeah. <laughs> there's, so there's some Obi-Wan Kenobi news. Darth Vader is returning. Hayden Christensen. So maybe we'll get a little Obi-Wan Vader battle. But the big stuff okay. is all of the... Also, I just remembered that I'm supposed to be quiet. I told you I'd forget. So <laughs> the big stuff is... All the Marvel stuff. So we got a little mini trailer for Moon Knight, starring Oscar Ooh. Isaac. And I have not seen this. It, I mean, it's it's more like a sizzle reel. It's just like a couple shots, real quick. Um, but it looks cool. I mean, I'm really excited for that. I read a <laughs> I read a single Moon Knight comic that Lele gave me a little while ago, uh-huh. and I found it interesting. Okay. And I think that'll be a cool character, a little bit Daredevil esque, a little bit Batman esque, but with his own twist. Is on that, it. Is that is it going to be a movie or or a show? A Disney Plus show. Um, and in fact, we have a little Oscar Isaac stuff in the announcements, which, by the way, we're, co- we're going to be recording with the pod because we're so close to the uh, uh, upload date. But anyway, we'll no. get to that. But that has made me look at Oscar Isaac in a very strange way. Um, but it looks great. Oh, then we have She-Hulk coming out um, with, I mean, whoever plays She-Hulk. Tatiana Maslany, but also starring Roof. Hello. He's in it. And he's like, hey, I'm Hulk and I'm here to help you Hulk. <laughs> Roof, hello. <laughs> I'm Hulk, and I'm here to help you, Hulk. It's his famous catchphrase. Um, I mean, I'm I'm Roof, hello. <laughs> and um, I mean, it looks you know it's a very tiny snippet, but she honestly, I think this one will be more interesting than maybe uh, some people who don't know about the lore would expect. Because <laughs> she's a bit, from what I understand, she's a bit of an interesting character. She's like a lawyer, which by the way, potential Matt Murdock crossover question mark. Ooh, um, I, I really want to see some Matt Murdock stuff. Please. Well, I, maybe I have some news for you. Who knows? But, mm-hmm. um, but also like she, in the comics, apparently she breaks the fourth wall, like Deadpool style. So maybe we'll get a little something, maybe a little okay. something more meta okay. here. Who knows? Okay. It has the roof. That's all I know, really. But it looks The thing cool. is, they're, they're allowed to do anything now. Because it's the multiverse. They've really opened up legit all possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing matters, one could argue. Um, by one the way, could. the Daredevil news, there isn't any news, but it has been rumored that they're maybe making a Disney Plus show, or maybe they're rebooting it, or maybe maybe they will keep Charlie Cox, maybe they won't. Who knows? Oh, I've, well, I only want it if they keep Charlie Cox. Well, there's also... There have been a couple of supposed leaks from No Way Home showing Charlie Cox as the thin. In the Peter Parker Not household. the cock then. But, um, okay. but I don't know. What a weird <laughs> threat in a way. But like, yeah, it's just an image of him in the doorway. If you just... don't comply, <laughs> I'm going to send Charlie Cox to your door. But, uh, you know, I don't know what to trust with these leaks. You know, I'm a broken man. Mm. But it looked kind of legit. I don't know. Anyway, okay. we'll see. Okay. Then Ms. Marvel is coming out. Uh, there was a couple, couple of things for that. Looks kind of fun. Echo, a new thing they announced where... It's a, oh god, okay, how do I, I did a little reading about this, but it's a character who's... How do I explain this to a dummy? (laughs) She was, like, adopted by the kingpin as a kid, but then the kingpin murdered her her actual parents, and then she's deaf, and then she fights Daredevil a bit, and she's kind of a ninja. Anyway, she's going to be in the Hawkeye show. Cool, you know, we haven't Mm -hmm. seen it yet, so not much to say, but it does kind of lend credence to the idea that kingpin Fisk D'Onofrio may appear in Hawkeye. Fi- Kingpin Frisk enough. I think he could actually maybe be the bad guy in Hawkeye. And maybe they've already revealed who that is, so? and I'm just, like, dumb and I haven't paid attention. But I have a sneaking suspicion they're working the Daredevil stuff back in, starting with Kingpin Hawkeye. That would be Hawkeye. so... Aw, oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> then we have Ironheart. I'd be, so, be so down for that. <laughs> um, Secret Invasion, Samuel Jackson, and Talos the Scroll doing some fun stuff. Agatha, House yeah. of Harkness. Agatha from... The WandaVision mm. show is what, getting her own what, show. 
I don't know why they need to do that. I mean, you need a I, spinoff of a, a spinoff for the villain. I mean, I, leave just leave a character alone, I would say, but yeah. whatever. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. The X-Men animated show from the 90s is getting more episodes. What If Season 2, Spider-Man Freshman Year, a new animated show about Peter Parker in the MCU when he was like a kid and how he became Spider-Man. I Am Groot, mm-hmm. animated show about baby Groot. And Marvel yeah, Zombies. They're just, they're, they're, pump, they're pumping out. I mean, it's, it's honestly, so yeah, stuff. it's so much. And it's like, <laughs> they, need to, they, need to, they need to chill a little bit. I, think, I know they're creating like this whole lore and, or like, I mean, not creating, but regurgitating and recreating this whole lore. But it's yeah. like, it's, I mean, when you look at this list and it's like the Agatha House of Harkness show, it's like, you know, there was a point where like having a WandaVision show seemed kind of absurd. And of course, you know, that was, that was a fun show, but then like another spin off, like everything. And then there's going to be a character yeah. like Echo is a spin off of a character in Hawkeye, which is a spin off of the Avengers that hasn't even come out yet. You know what I mean? It's like, mm-hmm. this just, and like the, the, an animated, a uh, series about how Spider-Man got his powers, you say? Yeah. And Marvel Zombies. We already Zombies. know how he got his... Yeah. Like, what? I mean, Marvel the Marvel Zombies, Zombies I'm kind of interested in because I, I like the What If episode about Marvel Zombies, so to see that more would be kind of fun. But, like, yeah, I mean, look, we're huge. I mean, me more so than you, I suppose. We are huge. <laughs> we're huge, like, Marvel fans. And so, of course, you know, I'm excited about a lot of this stuff. But when you do look at the list on paper, it's like, man... And this is not even, like, the movies. This is just the shows. Yeah, that's, that's, just sh- that's just extra stuff. It's like, it is a lot of stuff. But, hey, you know, so far, so good. We like to see it. Of these, I'm probably most excited for... Uh, Hawkeye. I guess Moon Knight, Hawkeye, Marvel Zombies, and What If Season 2. I liked What If Season 1, so, you know, that's exciting. All right, all right. Then Fair. we want to talk about the No Way Home trailer real quick. Now you Let's absolutely do it. I think you have some... I don't know. I, I don't know why you had this thought. I'm curious because you did text me very nicely of you, but you texted me this morning. You're like, "Hey, have you seen the new trailer? If not, maybe don't watch it. it has like a couple spoilers in it." And so I'm curious mm. what you thought was the big spoiler in well, here. Well, well, I don't I don't know if it's a major spoiler as such, I guess, but I, it just revealed a lot about the the whole mystery around the movie. I didn't know if you wanted that to happen. Just being mm. the, the bestest of, of friends. No, here. I I genuinely appreciate you you looking out for um, it. But. I mean, I, I don't know. I think the the whole twist that Otto Octavius is is not a bad guy is kind of yeah kind of strange. They probably could have left and the, that and, out and, of it. and then he show he shows that he starts fighting Doctor Strange at a point. And I'm like, okay, it it just I don't know. It reveals. I feel like it reveals a lot of the plots, or at least some of the plots that will happen in this movie. A bit too. I don't know because I was sitting here like, oh, is. Because there was always this lingering thing where it's like, is Doc Ock actually fighting him or is he not? Like, mm. what's what's going on? Why is Doctor Train and Spider Man on, on on a train? But now we we know why they're on a train. It's because they're fighting, and Doc Ock is is not fighting him. So that's fair. I I I think because I went into it thinking like, oh, they're probably going to spoil that. You know, like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in it. I think like. That's why I went away from, like, oh, they actually didn't show that much. But when you think about it, like, mm. if you just watch it independently, like, yeah, they did give away, like, pretty major plot points that, mm. yeah, like... I think, and, the, yeah, and, and they, they show that Ned and MJ don't actually get their minds erased by the spell. I'm just going They show a lot of stuff that's going to happen, which, like, I'm, I'm still very excited ah, for I didn't even think of that, but, actually. That's a good point. Because, yeah, because, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, I, I think it showed a bit too much. Like obviously it's good to to get the hype up, but I feel like it it it, it revealed, it it showed too much skin. I saw more than her ankles. I'll say. <laughs> Fair enough. You saw more than Ben the Cumberbatch's ankles, which is always a scary thing. Mm. The um, yeah. No. Fair. Fair. Um, and it did. Yeah. It did show some of the other villains that are going to be in it. Um, Sandman. Sandman. We got Jamie we Fox, saw Fox as Electro, which you know made me kind of crack up watching it. I was like, "Hey, mm. he's back! Like, hey, he's back, he's baby!" <laughs> um, and Green Goblin, Defoe, you know, yeah. And and we're gonna get a sixth villain, potentially Hardy. Although I don't think he's gonna be a major villain in this. I think he's gonna show up in a post credit scene or like at the very end because I think they're mm. gonna want to do that as its own movie because that like Spider Man versus Venom that can carry a whole film, you know. I so think, I, yeah, definitely. I think it'll probably the third or uh, the sixth villain will probably be like. I don't know, like Scorpion or... <laughs> Imagine in that epic final battle, the f- just not, without even the suit, just the, the, Paul Giamatti the, 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 rolls on the The main boss just walks in. <laughs> it's like, 
<laughs> yeah, it's like it's such clobber time. They try to reveal who's like the final big bad guy, and you're thinking it's gonna be fucking Venom, and then just Paul Giamatti in his like rhino <laughs> underpants shows up and just fucking shits himself. <laughs> <laughs> just takes a dump on on screen and leaves. It's so smelly, it kills everyone in sight. <laughs> That's basically what Paul Giamatti did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, <laughs> took a massive sh** all over the movie. <laughs> yeah, no, and so, I mean, we we also have J.K. Simmons in there as J. Jonah Jameson. Which J. K. Simmons. <laughs> kind of confusing how they've done that because... So he's played by the same actor from the Raimi films, but he didn't come over in the multiverse things. Like, he was just already there. Like, why do you have to con- confuse me like this, movies? No, um, what? <laughs> movies, what's the deal? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I th- obviously, yeah, super excited for it. I think it looks good. I, th- I thought it was a good trailer, but yeah, you're right. It does, it does give away a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for it. I'm glad they didn't show Toby and Andrew, who are obviously going to be in it. Um, do you think so? Yeah, I mean, can you imagine how dumb it would be if they had all of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's villains show up and they didn't actually have Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. And also, by the way, like, they've definitely played this and they've done it perfectly. So, so like, like to, to, to build the hype around that. Yeah, but, like, they've clearly, like, sneakily, you know, hinted at stuff. And if I'm sure, you know, there have been a billion leaks and most of them are probably fake, but a couple of the ones that seem a bit more legit. There was one of Andrew Garfield that I thought was fake initially, but then with this, it kind of confirms it's real because, like, it was in a location in this trailer. But, like, that kind of stuff, I'm sure they leaked it themselves. And in this trailer, mm. there's a, did you see the big lizard controversy, whatever? Never thought I'd say that. Uh-huh. But there's a part at the end That's... in the Brazilian version of the trailer with that big final shot where they're all jumping at each other where you see lizard get the absolute sh** kicked out of his face and it, it, it by nothing and clearly something's been cgi'd out there and mm. they've like almost certainly in that scene i think the other spider-man are in it because like it just looks like that kind of shot like there are three villains here there'd be three spider-man here it's that kind of thing but also like uh. the fact that they left that in you think marvel studios just for just didn't notice something that like anyone would notice looking at that where it's like hey why the f- did the lizard's face move as if he just got kicked in the face by nothing you know what i mean it's like of course mm-hmm. they left that in because they know people will pick up on it and they know people will go crazy about it and they edited it out it's like you think that was a mistake like of course well, was that only in, in the brazilian trailer you said yeah but again it's this kind of thing that they do where like i don't know i think they did it and it's genius but like they did it in kind of like a playful fun way with tom holland like you know how he like he became known for like spoiling stuff and so they yeah, sort of yeah. made a bit of a meme where it's like oh tom holland revealed the new avengers poster and like obviously they did that on purpose and this one they've done it a mm-hmm. little more subtly but i think obviously all of this stuff and like having like if they didn't want jimmy fallon to ask andrew garfield if he's in it like they would just say like don't ask him that question you know what i mean it's not mm-hmm. like he just sprung it on him like they clearly wanted <laughs> him to ask him him to go like no i'm definitely not in it and then everyone goes oh my god he's in it he, he look at this like you know, it's it's very smart, but yeah, of course they're gonna be in it. It'd be so mm, funny mm. if they weren't, though. Can you f- imagine? <laughs> It'd be so funny. They're sitting there, and then <laughs> <laughs> it's just Paul Giamatti's rhino. Freaking! I would love that. George Clooney as Batman walks in. <laughs> just Wesley Snipes' blade flies across the screen. <laughs> Yoan Grufford emerges from the ground. <laughs> Bullseye from X Men walks onto stage. <laughs> Like, I, I I saw an Instagram post today in my, like, explore thing, and it kind of made me crack up. It was like, in my opinion, if the other Spider-Men aren't in Spider-Man No Way Home, it would be the biggest disappointment in the history of cinema. <laughs> and like, I honestly, just to see what would happen, I would kind of love it. Just to see the they, absolute <laughs> chaos of what happened in the world. <laughs> I would kind of love it if they weren't. Of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome to see them. And, like, yeah, all, all stuff aside, like, it is really fun, you know, obviously to see these characters interacting and like to see Dr. Mm. Octopus back and everything. And like, that's all great. You know, and I talked about that a bit in my trailer video, but yeah, I also just for the memes of it, it would make me laugh hysterically if they weren't in it. at all. (laughs) But yeah, of course they're going to be, but yeah, it looks really good. Obviously I'm super excited for that. Hell yeah. And now obviously I'm really, really excited for it as well. It's going to be so good. And now we've come to inarguably the most important news of the week, two pieces of Dwayne news. First of all, oh my goodness. something you really love to see, uh, Vin Diesel, Dwayne Love. Did you see this on Instagram? Uh, I did not see this. Really? I. <laughs> How could I not have sent it to you, actually? Shame on me. Um, it just made me laugh very hard also because of the f***ing picture he posted. He posted 
a picture of him and The Rock from the Fast and Furious movies, but it's like a compressed image where it's like stretched out. So like, okay. it looks <laughs> so they look like the thickest boys. <laughs> yeah, I put it in the video. It's like, it's like you could have taken literally two seconds just to find any other picture of you two. Why did you post this? Anyway, he wrote this giant thing. I don't know if I'll read it all, but it starts with my little brother Dwayne. The time has come. So already just. You know, frightening. Mm. Also, I Already, feel like yeah. that's a low key dig where it's like my little brother Dwayne. You know, it's kind of like it's like is it, 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 Vin? Who are we kidding? If anyone is the little brother here, yeah, come on, it's most definitely you. The world awaits for the finale. Uh, the world awaits the finale of Fast Ten. As you know, my children refer to you as Uncle Dwayne in my house. Again, more threats. I feel like coming. Through. <laughs> um, but somehow this is Dwayne threatening. <laughs> It's like, please, can you? I don't tell know them what you did. Doing it. But I don't know what you did, but it's fucking working, and I'm scared. <laughs> but I feel like my children's loyalty has shifted to you. There is not a holiday that goes by that they and you don't send well wishes. But the time has come. Legacy awaits. I told you years ago that I was going to fulfill my promise to Pablo. I swore. Oh God, sorry. I just went off the page. <laughs> this like who, emotional climax. The text I accidentally clicked on. Who off. is Pablo? Uh, I don't know. Is it? Surely. Is it Paul Walker? I don't know. Because if it was, I assume why would they call Paul Walker Pablo? I don't know if that's a thing they have. I assume he would just write Paul. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, I swore that we would reach and manifest the best fast in the finale. That is ten. That was a hell of a sentence right there. I say this out of love. Vin should probably go to a uh, English teacher first. <laughs> also, th- another kind of threatening tone here. I say this out of love, but you must show up. Do not leave the franchise idle. You have a very important part to play. Hobbs can't be played by no other. I hope that you rise to the occasion and fulfill your destiny. So, um, hmm. so str- strange. I mean, you love to see it. You love to see a bit of Vin yeah. Rock bro love, but also a little but grandiose. If the ro- if, a little bit. It's yeah. fast ten, Vin. Calm down. <laughs> Wake up. Fast the Rock's is destiny is fast ten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really want Dwayne to be in it. Um, I definitely Dwayne will absolutely be the best part of that movie, but also maybe text him on. instead of like putting out this weird. Also maybe like hit him hit him up on uh, on Twitter direct message uh... <laughs> instead of posting this fucking compressed image of you two being thick boys. Like anyway, <laughs> that's that's the way to get anyone on board to your movie franchise. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, so you love to see it, I suppose. Um, yeah, but yeah, so we'll see. Hopefully he comes back, and then and I'm I'm so happy that I finally gotten to write this year. You know. Up until now, I think my favorite news note that I had in a while was Tom Holland butthole news, if you remember from the movie Cherry. Um, and oh, today, nice. we do, in fact, have <laughs> Dwayne piss news. So <laughs> I'm always happy to supply the most important news items of the day. Um, what in the world? So apparently, when Dwayne is in the gym, he pisses in water bottles. And, and then drinks it. <laughs> and then showers his head in it. Um, <laughs> it's so acidic, that's why he's bald. <laughs> His hair morning. actually grows back every morning, <laughs> but he just makes sure to absolutely eviscerate it with his piss. So from what I gathered from skimming this article, like... The DeWiss, I want to say? <laughs> Four years ago, he posted some video of him in the gym, and people were like, hey, what's with that bottle that looks like it's filled with piss? And then he made a statement where he was like, oh yeah, that's my piss jar. <laughs> he was like, that's like my piss bottle. What is this fever dream news you're giving me? <laughs> he was like, I piss in bottles in the gym. And now four years later, he was like questioned about it, and so he like clarified why it was. And so apparently it's because the gyms he go to don't have bathrooms. So he pisses in bottles. <laughs> Can I just repeat that? <laughs> the gym... <laughs> Which the gyms he go to, first of all, sorry, sorry, don't got toilets. <laughs> so he piss in bottle. My my bad. But so, like, I have so many questions. So first of all, and he he also made it very clear. He was like, you know, I don't just buy water bottles. Or like, what did he say? He was like, <laughs> I've I can own them. <laughs> it's like I don't. I supply him. He was like, I don't buy water bottles. Just like. I drink the water and then I just piss choose to them. piss in them. But no, he was basically like, I specifically bring them to piss in them or something. He was like, I, something like that. I don't know. I, what I, I is this? I don't want to get the quote wrong, but. Dwayne gets freakier and freakier <laughs> as the day goes on, he honestly. Like, he was like, um, I was like, God, it's almost midnight. My flatmates can definitely just hear me yelling about Dwayne Johnson pissing in the <laughs> Dwayne's gym. Dwayne's piss. But he was like, yeah, like, I think the excuse he gave was like, yeah, this gym is like, it's for real beasts where like they don't have bathrooms because that's like 
because that'd be like not a beast thing, I guess, having a fucking toilet. But I'm so curious. So, like, <laughs> is this the thing he does in his <gasps> own gym? Are there other people around? <laughs> does he just like go to the corner? <laughs> People are just like, people, like lifting weights, and then you just look over at Dwayne's hunkered he just, over he in the corner. He, he, he finishes deadlifting like <laughs> six hundred kilos. It's like, mm, I've got a, I've got a need, and then he just goes to the corner and just freaking jolts one out. Yeah, and then, or like he doesn't even leave the machine. As <laughs> he just he's yells at his, he just yells at his assistant. He just continues no stop. His assistant has to get his pants down and bottle out. <laughs> He decides just to wiggle it around just to f*** with the assistant. He decides to just piss his pants while looking at everyone. <laughs> Ultimate alpha move. I don't know. I have so many questions about this. And also just wh- why does the gym you go to not have a bathroom? That's not a beast thing. You still piss. You just piss in a bottle. What? <laughs> if anything, you're just kind of gross. You have honestly. to walk out of the gym with a bottle of your own urine. Presumably probably Wait. multiple. Like, that's not cooler than not <laughs> Dwayne's bladder a- is massive. <laughs> anyway. Dwayne just works out with pissy hands. <laughs> <laughs> Almost certainly. So this is this Gyllenhaal-esque news. Um, so this yeah. is very Gyllenhaal-esque. Dwayne, a big old pisser, I suppose, is, is what comes out of that. <laughs> Never have you said anything more true. <laughs> well, anyway. Dwayne, a big old pisser, I guess. <laughs> um, now it's time for... The Tom Knees. Oh, God, we're back to this Tom Cruise surgery stuff. I don't like doing this. I don't like talking about Cruise's physical appearance. <laughs> Spiritual <laughs> appearance is what I want to focus on. Though. Tom Cruise is from the sun. Tom Cruise is almost unrecognizable after surgery rumors as he prepares to fly a plane from Mission Impossible 8. Well, he doesn't even look that different in this. You just put that in there just to get a bit of clickbait. He looks completely like normal Cruise. Shame on you guys. Yeah, the, the title should just be Tom Cruise like prepares to do like an airplane stunt. But I'd be like, because there have been rumors of Tom Cruise's surgery. Anyway, I mean, Anyways, in fairness, we did well, cover the Tom Cruise face thing for like three weeks in a row. Yeah. <laughs> in fairness, we did leech off that news. <laughs> in fairness, we are definitely part of the problem here. Um, <laughs> we did suckle at the teat of the sun for a minute there. <laughs> in fairness, we did... I think we were the main cause and promoter of that story, but anyway. In fairness, I did Photoshop that image so you looked like a real tomato for a second there. <laughs> Enough time has passed. I think it's fine to say that. Um, but he looks normal here, and he's flying a plane. It's not that crazy of a stunt. So, up the levels, Cruz, maybe? <laughs> it's actually kind of cringe, uh, honestly. <laughs> so I, just looked at the, I just looked at the Google results here, and it just says, people also ask, and the top one is, what disease does Tom Cruise have? Which is just so harsh. I assume... Is this about... Uh, I assume all of them. <laughs> I, just, I don't know if that has anything to do with this thing. It says here dyslexia. Yeah, I think we've talked about that. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, what does this segment come to? Anyway, that's the Tom News. Good stuff. Um, and now it's time for the announcements and such. Take it away us right now, because I got them right here. Yo, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? So, crazy. So, um... Some of the comments on the mukbang. Daniel at the movie says the best extended cut of all time. Sean Finn says I must now travel to Denmark to eat this delicious looking food. You should. Eduardo <gasps> says very tasty. I've got, I've got something to tell you. Oh god. Did you watch I the extended wa- mukbang edition? I, I did actually watch that. Very delightful. No, no, but also, um, I was walking the Tesco aisles the other day. Oh god. You know what I came into? Or bumped into? <laughs> you know what I came into? <laughs> <laughs> A bottle of ketchup. <laughs> but anyway, unrelated. What did you what did you bump into? Gifla. I, I hope you bought them. I did. Damn, I, I bought four packs. <laughs> I bought the whole fucking supply. I really thought those were exclusively Danish. The hell I yeah. thought so as well. I I I was at Tesco today and I I I know that Tesco like the back of my hand and I did not see any Gifla, so that's wildly disappointing. But fair enough. Yeah. Well that's one big win for Scottish Tesco. Um, and then we have some comments on pod 109. Um, Schmoxy says, speaking of mind reading, sometimes I wish I had the opposite superpower, be able to make others read my mind. Sometimes I just can't be bothered to speak, although only if it's activatable. Yeah, yeah. If if people could just read your mind, that would be my superpower. I get that. I'll say there are definitely cooler superpowers than that. I'm sorry, (laughs) sorry, Schmoxy. But I think, I think that's a good shot. I never thought about that. 
Uh, then, oh yeah, here's some Oscar Isaac news. Kean says, have you heard Oscar Isaac's Hippopotamus song? I looked it up specifically after reading this comment, and it is one of the strangest yet weirdly, nuttily delightful and kind of calming things I've ever seen. It's Oscar Isaac on like Jimmy Kimmel or whatever, and he's singing okay. this Hippopotamus song with a guitar. It's only one minute long. You can find it after the pod. And it also, okay. when okay. you watch it, does it not give you like extreme Nick Miller vibes? I know you can't answer that right now, but when you watch it, just think. Okay. Just think it is Nick Miller. He even kind of looks like him a little bit there. Oh, I, re- I really want to. I really want to watch this. I mean, now. you can you can look Sounds- it up now. It's fine. We've right. we've already gone way too I'm- way over time. Oscar Isaac hippopotamus is literally the first thing that comes up when you search Oscar Isaac. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm liking it. Kind of a big banger. Oh god, he's he's yelling at Fallon. <laughs> I am de- I I won't lie. I'm getting the Nick Miller vibes. Right? God, it's. I see it. I definitely clear. see it. Uh, and it's kind of a kind of a big banger. It's sort of really catchy. It kind of really works. Yeah. Damn. So big stuff from Oscar Isaac. So check out the Oscar Isaac hippopotamus song if you have not yet. Um, then we had multiple people saying. Well, we had Daniel saying, Freddy's right, Benedict, a BHL Hudson vlog would be epic, and Sean Finn says, BHL Vlogson soon. So, you know, the people have spoken. BHL so I, I, guess, I guess it has to be done now. Movie Guy says, Benedict, you have a beautiful nose. All the haters are jealous. And Josie says, your nose is amazing, BHL. Voldemort is jealous that you have such a beautiful nose, unlike him. So I really appreciate the nose support in the community. Uh, I just want to be clear. I, I do love my nose. I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of the nose. Um... I'm not <laughs> deeply insecure about it and, and go see movies to compensate for my insecurity about it. I, it's not like I need to save four seats for my nose alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I appreciate... Those comments are definitely getting a like. Um, yeah, I, I appreciate the uh, the nose support, guys. And yeah, I do... love Everyone love your noses. They're, you know, especially if they're, they're mine. part of you. They're, they're literally part of you. What... <laughs> everyone love your noses especially if they're mine do you own random people's noses you absolute it's freak a, it's a monopoly i have i'm the <laughs> nose king anyway can i just make can i just you did jazz hands you said that very creepily <laughs> it's a monopoly awesome see i told you says bhl hudson sworn enemy of eddie no nose formerly eddie the nose so that's <laughs> a good it's a good comment it's a good comment that's i a, told you that's a, that's a good comment. That's a <laughs> bit of a banger rizzle of a comment. And then on the fan page, we had a very wonderful piece of uh, memory of um, Dwayne the Conquistador starring Mark Hamill, which oh, right. one wonderful <laughs> stuff. Again, incomprehensible to anyone who doesn't listen to the pod, but uh, lovely. Genuinely so random to read if you don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's great stuff. So thank you, Kian. You can check out the fan pages linked down below. You can also check out our podcast on Apple. You can also check out our podcast on <laughs> Apple Podcasts and Spotify. <laughs> um, and if you're and leave us a five star rating. And if you're listening there, you can check us out on YouTube, the Poorly Planned Podcast. Uh, you can leave a comment about what we talked about. Subscribe, like, all the good stuff. Share with your friends. Show your dad. Um, we're also there's a fan made <laughs> TikTok from Kian. <laughs> and share with your friends <laughs> and show it to your father. Also, the Movember thing is still going. I mentioned that at the top of the show. Uh, I got I got a ten pound donation. It was from me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, well, thank you. I, I mean, that should lessen the. I got you. I got you. Thank you. But uh, because it was anonymous, and I was sitting here. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Sorry about that. I mean, I'm not sorry. No, that's that's epic. Thank you. But it's just. But also, yeah. It's, it, no one has donated yet. So should we? Sh- okay, I think we should take a new tactic of shaming people into it. How could you? It's for charity. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the worst way to promote charity. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's still down bully below. people into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah. So, I'm, oh, it's so weird to do the announcements on the same day because we can't do the gag of mm. like because we recorded in the past, so we have to like catch. All up, right. So well, I'm sure we. Uh, what Oscar uh, Isaac uh, is a hippo. What? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for listening uh you can find me on youtube bhl hudson instagram twitter bhl underscore hudson you can email the pod at bhl hudson vids at gmail.com hope you enjoyed this episode by the way you can find me on twitter at fdk underscore dot sniper you can find me on instagram at a fidalgard and you can find me on youtube at fdk space gaming thank you very much for listening and we will see you next time oscar isaac